here and thank you for joining me for part two of this card. I'm showing you some glitter paper from Martha Stewart collection, the 12 by 12 pack. I want to match it with the nice little bird nest in gold. So what I do when I put a layer on is I cut out the inside with a die that I'm using from Dynamics so that I don't waste all the uh, inside guts of the paper and I can use it on this card. See how I stamped it out? Yet it will fit right underneath that black piece wonderfully. There, and then I just glue that down and nobody's the wiser when you put that onto a card. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. So here's the dynamic set that I used. Now we're gonna go on to the Lyra watercolors. They are so nice and what I wanna do here is I want to create some texture for the die that matches this uh, autumn set by W plus nine, the leaf autumn set. And um, so I'm going to dry this and I want to have all those lines in there. I pressed hard on that on purpose because I want to have some texture in the leaves. These leaves are going to go on the front. So I'm just adding color here and really applying a lot of water with just dipping the crayon right on the see how I'm taking it to the water and then I am drawing the circles moving it around I want when I put that dye on there I want to have all different colors of green and I want to have all those lines going on so I'm pounding it on my table there I took my heat tool and I dried that thing as dry as I could and now I'm not cutting apart these leaves because I like to use them if I can all put together with one run through my Vagabond. And then, yeah, I'm cleaning it off my sleeve too. <laughs> no time to grab paper towels. Just use your sleeve, right? So I, aren't they pretty? See all those nice squiggly lines that came down with that watercolor crayon? Just beautiful. So now I'm taking out, I'm going to put this in and I'm using my medical tape there to hold it down. And this set is just beautiful. So I'm taking the Martha Stewart 12 by 12 glitter pack. It's really pretty. And I am putting some Tombow Mono Multi to put this black card base down. And I added some of that uh, double-sided foam roll to the back of my card. And I really cover it well because um, it's watercolor paper, right? So you want to have it as much tape on the back as you can and you can't even tell that that glitter paper is mi missing the middle guts and I get to use that whole portion on the card later on so I think it's an awesome idea and now yes I've learned my lesson I am taking my powder tool and going over the leaves because I'm going to stamp the outline so I can put the gold embossing powder from Hero Arts on there so I'm just putting it in my co coffee filter throwing some in, grabbing my tweezers, and I'm going to heat set each one of these and uh, use them on the front of my interactive card. Doesn't that look pretty? And you've got all the lines that you used uh, when I did all those circles and ran all of that watercolor crayon down on the watercolor paper. Looks really pretty. All different types, greens, yellows. So now I'm preparing my card, and this is from a Tim Holtz collection, I think. It's a um, 12 by 12 pack. It's really pretty. I was thinking it might have been stamping up about 12 by 12 paper as well with the flowers. I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to have one side larger than the other side when it closed. And I don't have the exact measurements of that, but once you close your card, uh, you will know. Just take a pencil and just mark out where you have to cut. Now what I do here when I fold it is I add another eighth of an inch so that when you fold your card you have that eighth of an inch um, embedded into the card for the fold and it turns out well. See how I run it down there and then I run it to the next line. Yeah, so I have that eighth of an inch and then I just fold that and it works out perfectly for the for the card to close. So I'm taking my Martha Stewart uh, leaf punch because it is leaves and I thought it'd be really nice to work it into this card. 
Now when I put the leaves on there with this punch, you have to make sure when you close your interactive card that you add an extra half an inch because you're going to lose it with whatever design that you are punching out of the cardstock. So that's something to keep in mind. And now I'm rolling up a little glue dot to put in my bow. This is some twine that I had. There we go. I like the light twine and the dark twine to kind of mix together. And then the little leaves that I cut out from this die set, I am putting on the bottom, one in the front, one in the back, just to hang from the card. And I think it gives a nice effect. Now, if, I, if you wanted to do that again, you'd have to cut one upside down, right? So that they perfectly match, but I didn't. So um, all I'm going to do here is grab my little daubers and I'm going to add some Distress Ink so you can't see the white of the card. All right, so now I'm going to add that. See how I was able to use the inside guts of that card, the glitter paper? and put on the inside of each side of the card. Does that make sense? <laughs> the inside of the side. And uh, I'm taking off the tape that I'm using here, the double-sided tape, and that's my Suquang tape because it'll keep that glitter paper nice and secure. And now I'm going to put the card down with the uh, one-inch Suquang tape I'm taking that off and that'll be nice and secure on the inside of this wonderful craft cardstock. It's nice and thick. I love it. I remember getting a Stampin' Up! pack and a uh, Tim Holtz pack, so I'm not sure which one actually. And here you go. I'm able to use some more of that glitter paper on the left side. And doesn't that come in handy? You don't waste any of it behind your layers. I always clean out the inside of the layers and use the paper. So now we have the glitter to match the gold on the card and to match the little wee gold twine. And I'm using the new Distress ink here and going around the new color. I'm going around and even adding it to the little flowers because they're embossed with clear embossing powder it looks like right in the paper. I didn't have to emboss it. And now we are going to assemble the card which is really exciting. I love this end. It took a baby wipe to get any excess distress ink off the card, which works well. And now I'm going to take my daubers again and I'm going to do the backs of all these leaves because it's white. And um, I don't want when you open the card to see any white. So I took, um, let me see, I think it was, it was the new color, whatever that new brown is that just came out, and I took a nice moss green. I can't even think which green it was. I will list it. And I did all the backs of the leaves. So um, when you turn, you open the card, you don't see any white layers. So I thought that was really nice. Just going over it again to make sure it's all nice and leafy looking. There we go. I'm closing it just to see how I am going to put these leaves on and um, just to get an idea how I'm going to place them because that's the side that closes and see how many I have to use and I used every one of them. Now my heat gun has been heating up since I started the card base so now I'm just using uh, my heat gun to add that and look how when you open that you see the nice leaf color. Then I turned one around on the inside of the uh, opening so that when you opened it, you could see a leaf like that. Isn't that pretty? And uh, it just is a nice fall card. I mean, don't you love it? I can't wait until fall hits full time and we don't have any of this humidity. So I'm just taking my uh, glue gun and gluing everything down. I love the yellow and the greens and the veins that run through the car. See it there? The little splatters. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so we pretty. Oh yeah, I'm just taking all the little webs off the heat uh, the glue gun, and shortly we're going to have all of this finished. And then I grabbed a little wee butterfly I had in my stash, and that's what's going to hold that twine. I put the ribbon down with. Uh, my glue gun and I add that attachment of the twine to the back so that it will close the card 
as you can see and now I'm going to glue gun it right there so it's not going to move and then I take my little butterfly and I'm going to put it on top of that bow and wrapping it around and you need a closure right there right so there's that teensy weensy butterfly and it is from this I think it's Studio B collection and I wrap it behind I wrap it all around the end of all around that little butterfly because it's held on with the glue gun glue so it's going to be secure and I am taking these little wee um, leaves that I had left over and I'm putting it on the just the top piece that I'm going to grab and wrap around and that way when I open it when you see it here in a minute and it gets opened you have something to hang on to so I'm taking my Copic marker and I'm adding veins to all the leaves in black and it looks so cute it's just a nice interactive card I thought you would enjoy it easy to make easy peasy card there you go and then you unwind it there and you open it up and there you have the little bird in his nest and ball and glitter you've got it all Yes, so thank you so much for joining me. You have yourself a blessed week, and we will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.